Amen. Brother Vince, if you can turn on this fan up here, I'm already cooking and I ain't even opened my Bible yet. Uh, you know, th if you didn't know anything about Pastor Ryan Marlowe in North Carolina before it was brought up here, I'll say that the miracle that has taken place is equivalent to Lazarus being raised from the dead in the, Old Te in the New Testament in the Bible. Uh, what he had was hundreds of doctors. Am I right in saying there was hundreds of doctors that said it's impossible. He needs to be taken off life support. He will not. He's brain dead. He's dead. Is, the life support is the only thing keeping him alive. And his wife prayed, and God told her, "Don't take it off." And um, to to hear that report this evening ought to cause every one of us to just praise a holy God in heaven. I have personally been praying over the last. Uh, several years that God would do something so big and, and mighty in our generation that God's people would be renewed to be reminded that he is still all powerful, does still care, and he's still sitting on the throne. And if that's not it, my dear friends, I don't know what else you need to be uh, moved with the idea that God cares about every one of us. Uh, I am just uh, beside myself trying to hold tears back when he gave that report. I hadn't seen a report in at least a week, I suppose. And so thank you, Pastor, for sharing that report. Brother Marlowe, what a tremendous testimony to our great God in heaven. I'm thankful for that tonight. Would you take your Bibles and find your way to Genesis chapter number 19? Uh, this is a very familiar passage of Scripture and as it seems like is always the case, it's not anything that I was deep in studying.